My name is Michael Potts. Now, I've just returned from a, a month-long uh, family emergency in Virginia, and I come around and about and find that this council has made the most gregarious grab for power that I've seen in a long time. Now, if anybody is, uh, and I know that you've tried to, at times, school this uh, council and the proper procedures and pro, uh, uh, of governments, uh, governments and stuff, but let me give you a little, uh, I'm sorry. Let me just get, start over again. You tried to school this council as far as how the, the government works and stuff. And I'd just like to expound on that since what you've been uh, faced with is with the deaf ears and stuff and they haven't listened to you at all as for how to properly govern Las Cruces. Now, during that time period while I was gone, I seemed to have missed the meeting where the city of Las Cruces gave this council the ability to be the moral voice of Las Cruces. I seemed to miss the meeting that Las Cruces gave this council the ability to be the censorship committee of Las Cruces. You know, we faced this before, and I just want to say that to this council that this is the United States of America, and we're a, a constitutional republic with a representative type of government. And if you've had the opportunity to read the, the uh, preamble to our constitution, you'll know it starts with we the people. We the people means everybody in this audience, everybody in this chamber and stuff. We have the power to appoint or elect you to do what we want you to do. You're not around and vast there to make your own personal agenda and decide what you want to do. You're supposed to listen to us, to we the people. We're your boss. We're the ones that tell you what to do. We elected you or appointed you to be in that seat, and we can take you out of that seat come the next election. Now, what I wanted to talk about is last year we talked about Squaw Mountain Drive and, and that decision was already made and now it's come back up again, seems like. And I wanted to remind this council that these are the things that you have caused the people on that street to have to do. The driver's license and other DMV registrations have to be changed. Social security documents have to be changed. Bank accounts have to be changed. Relatives not to be notified of the street change. Electric company has to be notified. Loan holders, including mortgage companies, have to be notified. Professional alumni organizations have to be notified. You're gonna run me out of time here, and I'm sorry about that. Google and driver GPS and maps, including satellites, they have to be notified also. So this is the things that you're putting the people that you represent through. And if you change any other street name here in Las Cruces, they have to do the same thing. Now, as far as I'm concerned, you should be ashamed of the way you're treating your constituents. But, but Mr. And Fonson, I just think that is entirely- I'm sorry, your time has expired. I know my time's up, but yes, this sir. is important to tell this council that they're screwing up. Okay. Sorry, thank you. Thank you.